Ah, today we're making a clear beef broth. It's an Austrian recipe, and uh, in German it's called Rindsuppe. Rindsuppe. Ah, what you need is some celery root, some parsley, a bit of parsnip, you got some carrots, some leek, an onion. My addition to this is uh, some garlic. Just gonna need some pepper and some nutmeg. If you don't have the nutmeg like this, you can just buy already ground nutmeg and that'll be also okay. Then you're gonna need 500 grams, you know, give or take a little bit if you can't get exactly, uh, of bones, beef bones. Then you're gonna need two bones that has for the marrow. So you're gonna have to get some beef shank and you get your butcher should be able to cut that up for you. Let's make sure it's got the marrow in there. And then you're gonna need about 800 grams of uh, stewing uh, beef. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to wash your bones with some warm water, just under the tap. Just give them a little Try and get all those little bone fragments and stuff off. And then some cold water. Got some cold water. Just put some water in your pot. All right, once you've washed your meat with warm water and you've put them in the pot with the cool water, just turn your oven, turn the pot on. And you're gonna bring that up to the boil. And as soon as it comes to the boil, we'll jump to the, we'll come to the next step. So as soon as your meat comes to the boil, you're gonna turn it off. And you're gonna take it. All right, you're gonna take the meat out, and you're gonna just give it a little rinse off with uh, cold water, and put it into another into your pot that you're going to make this make the stock in so once you've taken it out of the boiling water and you've just rinsed it off underneath the cold water you're going to put it into a pot add three liters of cold water and then you're going to also add your marrow bones now i've i've washed these under under some cool water as well that's the key for everything today to get the nice clear broth is make sure you wash all your all your bones so you get a, yeah, so it's a clear broth. Yeah. All right, so now you've got your bones and your marrow bones in the pot of water. You're gonna bring it to, just before it starts boiling, you're gonna turn the heat down to low, and then you're gonna start scooping all the, all the foam and all the, the nasty stuff off the top. So, you wanna get your onion, you just wanna cut it straight in half, leave the peel on, and you want to put it into a dry pan just to get some color on the on the onion. All right, once you got some uh, nice color on your onions, just take them off the heat. So once it comes up to the boil, you want to turn it down to low, which on our stove you can't because it's like an electric shitty stove, and if it had gas, you just turn it down to low. But we have to sort of play with ours a little bit, and then you want to start scooping this foam off. Kind of an important step, so make sure you just take your time and uh, and get all that that's stuff off the top. Okay, once you've scooped all your all the foam and that off of the top of the stock, you're gonna get your onions. You're gonna put them in. You're gonna get your meat. You put that in. You should use whole peppercorns, but we don't have any, so I'm just going to coarsely grind pepper. And salt. And 
and you shouldn't stir it. You should not stir the stir, stir the stock because that'll that'll uh, affect the clearance of it. So we're going to leave that just like that for just on a low heat for two hours, and then we'll come back and put the veg in. All right, it's been about two hours now, and I've been coming back, you know, every now and again and just scooping some of this um some of this extra like firm and stuff just to, you know just the, the more you the more of this foam you scoop off the clear your soup's gonna be all right so now all i've done here with the vegetables is just washed them good and chopped them up and the clover garlic i've just you know crushed it and peeled it but yeah i've cut all the rest of the stuff up except for the parsley the parsley doesn't go in yet so we leave that aside and now we just tip the uh the vegetables in also, it's uh, probably a really good idea to use a bigger pot. <laughs> Mine's way too small for this. But that's all I had on hand, so... Yeah. So you've got the veg in, and now it's going to be about another hour or so, and then we'll be ready for the next step. Alright, the broth's been on for about three hours now. Now we're going to take it off the heat. We're just going to lay the parsley in there. We're going to grate some of the nutmeg. That's about that much of nutmeg. Now just get your spoon, just push it in slightly. Now. The whole time since I've put the, the meat in, like the actual meat, not the bones, I haven't stirred it. That's a key point. Do not stir it, because otherwise that'll also affect the cleanness. So now we're just going to let that sit off the heat for about another 10 minutes, and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, after it's been sitting for 10 minutes, go ahead and take your big chunks of meat out. And then we're going to slowly strain the stock into the other pot, but do it slowly because you don't want to stir anything up. That's another key for the, for the clear broth. So you just want to slowly pour this out. Right, you want to leave about a centimeter in the bottom. You don't want to tip it all out, but I still got a little bit more to go. Okay, so I've still got about a centimeter of juice left in there. All right, then you've got your finished broth. Now there is there's quite a lot of fat in this, so if you if you wanted to, you just put that in a, in like the, as it is in the in the fridge, and leave it overnight. And then you'll be able to, that, that, all that fat will set on top and then you'll be able to come back in the morning and scoop the whole lot off. Add all the meat you've on the bones here. You can pull all that off and add it to your soup or you can just pull it off and eat it like that. It just falls apart. Same with the marrow, you can scoop that out, put it on some bread or if you like it, just eat it, just, just eat it like that if you need, if you want. It's all good.